السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ اشد اللہ اللہ اشد اللہ محمد عبد و رسول اما بعد فاؤز باللہ سمیل علی میں من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم وسابقون الولون من المہاجرین ولنصار ولزین تبوہم بحسان رضی اللہ عنہم رضی اللہ عنہم و رضو عنہ و عدلہم جنات تجری تحت الانہار خالدین فیحا ابدا ذالک الفوز العظیم And as, and as for the foremost among the believers, the first of the immigrants and the helpers, and those who followed them in the best possible manner, Allah is well pleased with them and they are well pleased with Him. And He has prepared for them gardens beneath which flow rivers, they will abide therein forever, that is the supreme triumph. My dear sisters and brothers, I have been asked to talk about the love of the companions of the Holy Prophet وسلم, with Allah and His Prophet. My humble presentation is nothing more than some of the incidents which our beloved Imam, Hazrat Khalifatul Masih, Ayyadahullah Ta'ala bin Asl Aziz has been telling us in the past couple of sermons since December last year. Who are those Sahaba? Those Sahaba, in the words of Hazrat Musih Maud were, he said, Sadaf ta kauman karosan zillatan fajaltahum kasabi katil ikyani. O beloved Muhammad, you met people servile and submissive, like droppings of the animals, but you, the Prophet Muhammad, وسلم, made them clean and pre- precious like engards of pure gold. He further said, Ahyata amvatul kurune bajalvatin maza yumasiluka bihazish shani with one transfiguration. O Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you raise the dead of centuries to life. Who can ma- match you in this situation? As some of the Meccans started to accept, the, accept and saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah. We found that Hazrat Bilal, ta'ala anhu, he was a slave. You know, we had just a couple of days of a heat wave. This heat wave was nothing more than 40 degrees. But Hazrat Bilal, ta'ala anhu, was laid down on the sand, which was more than 50 degrees or even hotter, keeping his master, his foot on his chest. But what was the call? He just keep on saying, Allah Wahad, Allah Wahad, Allah Wahad. Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, anhu, once he was beaten in Kaaba to a degree that his face was unrecognizable. And then there was Hazrat Qubab, anhu, that his, he was laid down on the coal, a burning coal, and his flesh was just, and he was put, his master was keeping his foot in his chest to a degree that all his back was burnt his blood, his water, and, the, and, and his own skin actually calmed down those colds. And then there was Hazrat Sumayya, ta'ala anha, who was martyred by Abu Jahl and his people. She was the daughter of ah, Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear brothers and sisters, when they were saying, La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah, they heard the voice from, the, from their master. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, One cannot find the sweetness of faith unless Allah and His Messenger are more dearer to Him than anything else. Anything more than their beloved, lamb, beloved ones, their parents, their brothers, their sisters, their children, and even their own selves, then they will have the sweetness of the faith. To see this sweetness of faith, the first example which I have picked up is of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq, to whom 
Uh, Hazrat Musih Maud Salam has said, Abu Bakr was obliterated in the love of the Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He accompanied Ah Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to the journey towards Gharisar. And sometimes he walked on his right and sometime on his left, sometime on his front and sometime on his back. Ah Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam asked, O oh, oh Abu Bakr, why are you doing this? He said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, I want to protect you. Your love does not make me fearless. When they entered into the cave of Saur, he found there are some holes. He tore off his clothes and plugged all, the, all those holes. One was left. Holy Prophet ﷺ want to have, have some rest. So he put his head in the, in the lap of Hazrat Abu Bakr Sadiq and he slept for a while. A snake bit Hazrat Abu Bakr Sadiq. He did not move. He did not move and he did not cry, but he could not hold his tears. When his tears dropped on the cheek of Hazrat Muhammad وسلم, he woke up and he said, Abu Bakr, what happened? He said, oh, Prophet of Allah, a snake has bitten me. Ah, Hazur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam put his saliva onto, onto that wound and he was cured. But this was the love, this was the love of Hazrat Abu Bakr Siddiq anhu to his master. Then from there they enter into Medina and the valley of Medina had a new voice, a new love a new fragrance of sweetness. And the children of Medina, the young girls and the ladies, they sang. And they sang and they said, Tala ul badro alayna, min saniyyat il wada, wajaba shukru alayna, ma da lillahi dahi. The full moon rose for us from the valley of Wada, and it's incumbent upon us to show gratitude and love for as long as anyone is in existence, calls to Allah. <coughs> this was the, the love of the Sahaba, how it was demonstrated. It was not very long in Medina when the enemy attacked and the Badr, the battle of Badr commenced. Just before the battle, Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gathered everyone and asked for the, their opinion, asked for their counsel. At that time, Hazrat Mikdad bin Aswad, he stood up and he said, O oh, Messenger of Allah, we are not like the disciple of Moses, alayhi salam, so that we should tell you, go thou and thy Lord and fight, and here we sit. Rather, affirm that you may go wherever you wish, we are with you and shall fight to your right and to your left and in front of you and behind you. Listening to this, the Holy Prophet Wasallam had a glow on his face. At that time, the chieftain of tribe boss among the Ansar, as the leader of, leader of Ansar, Hazrat Saad bin Maaz, he stood up and he said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, perhaps it's our counsel it's our counsel of Ansar that you seek. By God, when we have believed in you and being truthful and have placed our hands in your hand, then go forth wherever you desire. We are with you. We swear by Allah who has sent you with the truth that if you order us to dive into the sea, we, will, shall, we shall dive into it. And not a single one of us shall hold back, God willing, you shall find us steadfast in battle and sh shall stand fast from us that which shall be the delight of your eyes. And Sahaba, and Sahaba Rizwanullah alayhim, they fulfilled this pledge. Not only the elders, but there were the youngsters who wanted to fight. There were the children who came and he, they stood up on their tiptoes they, they, so that they should look ta taller and they should fight. A night before the battle starts, Holy Prophet Wasallam was telling the Sahaba how to stand up tomorrow and making their rose. 
when accidentally his arrow touched the body of Hazrat Swad Razilatalanhu. Hazrat Swad courageously asked that, O oh, Prophet of Allah, Allah had, had sent you with the mercy and the truth. You have touched me unjustly and I want to take revenge. Listening to this, everybody was in shock. Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the mercy of Allah, he took off his shirt and he said, O oh, Swad, take your revenge. Swad immediately come forward and kissed the body of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Azur sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked, O oh, Sawad, what is this? With his choking voice, this was his reply. He said, O oh, Prophet of Allah, tomorrow we are going to face the enemy. And who knows, I will survive or not. I just want to embrace you and kiss you. This was the love of the Holy Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In the same battle, Hazrat Abdul Rahman bin Nauf, who he says, when the battle starts, I looked on my right, there was a young Ansar boy. And I looked on my left, there was another young Ansar boy. He said, my heart sank that how I will fight. He said, while I was thinking, the young boy on my right, he touched me with his wrist. And he said, uncle, tell me where is Abu Jahl? I came to know that he has inflicted lots of griefs to my master, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, well, I have not answered him yet. When the other boy on the left had have the same inquiry, he, he said, Abu Jahl, he was the commander of the army. He was surrounded by the veteran arm, uh, armed men. He said, I pointed my finger towards Abu Jahl and I said, he is there. He said, my hand was not dropped when both the boys, they sprung like hawks, cutting through the, uh, the armed uh, rows of the, the enemies. They reached to Abu Jahl and instantly they killed him. Abu Jahl's son was accompanying him. He could not save his father, but he had attacked one of the brothers and he severed his shoulder. The boy torn off his own arm from his body and kept on fighting. This was the love of the youngsters, the Khudam of Islam. Another. <laughs> Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa, Nura Muhammad Ki. This is this is the love. This is the love which has been said. Ishq hai jisse hota hai ye. Ishq hai jisse hota hai ye. Sare jungal pur khater. Ishq hai jo sar jukade. Zair itaye abdar. It is through love that these perilous wilds can be crossed. It is the the love that it had under a sharpened swords and the Sahaba had shown it. In the Battle of Fuhud, Hazrat Saad, Rizillah he was facing the army. And there was a time when there was not some time more than 10 people who was around Sahaba, Islam, but they were just like a moth to the fire. They were protecting their masters like this. At one time, Holy Prophet وسلم, handed over the arrows to Saad and said, Saad, my parents may be sacrificed on you. Holy Prophet Sallallahu out of his own love, he is saying to Saad, O oh, Saad, may my parents be sacrificed on you. Keep on throwing the arrows upon arrow. May God be with you. Saad was very proud of these sentences. And there was Hazrat Talha Raziyallah Ta'ala Anho, who had held his hand to protect the face of our Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam to a degree that his hand was paralyzed forever. My dear brothers and sisters, these were not the only men who protected. There were ladies who had shown an extreme love to the Holy Prophet In the same battle, the ladies who went there to serve the army to, and give them the water, there was an instance when the ba battle was very fierce. Hazrat Umay Umara Anha was one of them and when only there were 10 people around him, he and her two sons were among them. One of her son got wounded. She immediately had some bandage and tell, oh my son, go and keep on fighting to the last breath of you. And he, she herself protected. She, he, she protected to a degree that Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, oh my Umara, you have shown a strength 
which no one else has shown today. Listening to this, Hazrat Umm Umara said, O Prophet of Allah, pray for us, pray for me that I will be with you after this world and in the heavens. Our Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam prayed and he said, Allahumma jil, Allahumma, Allahumma jalhum rufuqai fil jannah, that O oh Allah, make them, make them my companions in the heavens too. Listening to this, she ecstatically said, Ma ubali, ma sabani mit dunya, that O oh Prophet of Allah, now I don't care about any worldly miseries. She inflicted 12 deep wounds on that day. Our Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, later whenever he remembered the battle of Uhud, he used to say, I saw Umm Umara was fighting with enemy everywhere I saw. Along with that, there was a lady when they heard that, oh, the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam has been martyred. She came out and running towards Uhud, she asked everyone, how is the Prophet of Allah? One person told him, my dear respected lady, your father has died. She said, I'm not asking about him. Tell me, how is Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? He said, your son has also died and your husband had also died. She said, I'm not asking about them. Tell me, how is the Prophet? She, and he replied, he is safe. She walked towards the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, touched his robe, and he said, oh, my dear Prophet, if you are here, then I don't care for any misery which has inflicted upon me. And there was Hazrat Masab bin Umair. He was also martyred on that day. Uh, Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam reached to his body and he recited this verse from Minal Mominina Rijalan Sadaku Mahadullah Alay. For Minhum Man Kaza Nahbahu, for Minhum Man Jantazir, for Ma Baddalu Tabdila. He said, there are some of them who have fulfilled their vow, and Saad is among them. He further said, I had not seen in Mecca a more handsome person than you, but today your hairs are tangled and covered in dust, dust, and you have one shirt on your body. But I bear witness that you will be presented in the court of Allah on the day of judgment. Then he further said, come and see, come and see Masa bin Umair, and Remember that whoever will send the ruth to him, he will reply it. Allahumma salli ala masa bin uwar. These were the people about whom Hazrat Musih Maud Lassalatu Aslam has said, Bina kardan khush ras mein baqa ko khun galti dan. Khuda rahmat ko nindi aash kaane paak tinatra. May God bless these righteous lovers who started this wonderful tradition by sacrificing their slaves. My dear brothers and sisters, these are some of the examples which I have presented. But what happened in the history of Islam, that these have become just a mere stories, and people have forgotten what was the life of the, these people. Then Allah had a mercy upon us, and Hazrat Musih Ma'ud Islam has been sent. And Hazrat Musih Ma'ud Islam announced, Mubarak wo jo abhi maan laya, Sohaba se mila jo jab mujh ko paya, wohi mein unko saaki ne pila di, fa subhan allazi yakhzal adi. He is blessed who believe it now. He meets a companion when he finds me. The wine tender has served them with the, with the same wine. He is who, who has con confounded my foes. Talking about the companions of Ah, Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hazrat Musih Maud Islam wrote, the companions of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, their sincerity and loyalty has no match. The whole history of mankind, they bore all sorts of hardship for his sake. They left homelands which were dear to them. They were separated from their dear ones and from their belongings. They even did not mind to lay down their lives for him. It was this sincerity and loyalty that crowned them with success. He further said, the people who joined the Holy Prophet were righteous, God-fearing, and so sincere that the like of them cannot be met by others anywhere in the world. Great appreciation for them is mentioned in the book of Hadith. 
so much so that the Holy Prophet وسلم, said, Allah fi ashabi, that you can find the manifestation of God in the lives of my companion. Holy Quran also praises the companions. They spend their nights prostrating and standing for their Lord. He further said, and this is my last quotation, he said, just consider, this is worth listening and worth acting upon. Hazrat Musih Maud said, just consider whether during the last 1400 years, anyone has experienced a time which is so similar to the time of Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our Jamaat, which has been established in this age, resembles in many re respects to the companions, Rizwanullah Alaihim of the Holy Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Our community witnesses miracles and signs similar to what the companions Rizwanullah Alaihim has witnessed. We gain light and certainty from fresh heavenly signs, as the companions Rizwanullah Alaihim did. We strive to endure in the cause of Allah, the mockery and derisions and reproaches of people, and bear persecution and boycotts, just as the companions Rizwanullah Alaihim endured. They led pure lives, helped by clear heavenly signs and supports and wise teaching, as did the companion Rizwanullah Alaihim. There are many among them who weep. There are many among them who weep during their prayers, as the companion Rizwanullah Alaihim wept so profusely, so profusely that their places of prostrations were dampened. Many of them see true dreams and are honored with divine revelations as was the case with the companions, Rizwanullah alayhim. Many of them spend their hard and money in promoting the activities of the Jamaat purely for the sake, purely for the sake of winning the player of God Almighty, as did the companion, Rizwanullah alayhim. Many among them keep death in mind and are gentle of heart and tread the path true righteous as was the practice of the companions. They are the party of God, who are support, supported by God himself, and whose hearts is he is purifying, Allah is purifying daily, and whose bosoms Allah is filling with the wisdom of faith, and whom Allah is drawing towards himself through heavenly signs. And Allah did as Allah did with the companions, Rizwanullah alayhim. In short, this Jamaat exhibits all those signs which are implied in the verse, wa akharina minhum lamma yalhaku bihim, and among others from among them who have yet joined them, the word of God Almighty was bound to be fulfilled. My dear sisters and my dear brothers, I have just given a few examples. The life of the companions of Holy Prophet Sallallahu if we read it on a daily basis, or at least nowadays and ever, we read the sermon and listen to the sermon of Hazrat Khalifatul Masih, Ayyadullah Ta'ala bin Asl Aziz, our lives will be changed. If we have the desire, if we have the desire that may Allah have his mercy upon us, and may Allah shower his blessings in this world and the hereafter. And may Allah help us to be with the companions of our Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There is only one way. No other way on this earth can take us to that path. And that one way is the total obedience of the Khilafat Ahmadiyya. And obedience, if it has no if and buts, the obedience which is unshakable, true and complete obedience. When our master says, stand up, we stand up. When he says, move forward, we move forward. When he says, listen to me, we listen to him. When we have to, and that has to be demonstrated in our, in our lives. That has to be shown in our mosques. 
that has to be shown in our jalsas, that has to be shown among the ladies in their parda, that has to be shown among the men in their parda. We should not waste our time. And we should say to our Khalifatul Masih that, O oh, Khalifatullah, you are the one who has been appointed by God Almighty, and here we are with our complete submission. May Allah help us to do so. Ya Rabbi Salli Ala, Nabi Yekadayman, Fi Hazihid Dunya, Wabasi Sani. Allahumma Salli Ala Muhammadin, Wa Ala Abdik Al Masih Al Maud, Wa Ashabuhum Majmain, Wa Barik Wa Sallam, Inna Ka Hamidum Majid, Wa Akhiru Dawana, and Alhamdulillah Hirabil Alameen. Narae Takbir! Hazrat Muhammad Mustafa, Hazrat Khatamul Anbiya,